It is me, the Oblivial Mickey, and this is a compilation of mind-numbingly bizarre stuff I wrote as a kid. Spot, 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 two. Underwear. Very practical. I lost my appetite. Well, would you like me to help me find it? Woo! I might not talk to you that much. Hope you do good. Well, you tried. At first I was all like, oh, I'll record this nonsense and animate it later. But then I remembered that animating is agonizing pain, the likes of which no one should ever be subjected to. So instead of animating until my heart splatters into a thousand gooey bits, I'll just animate some of this video. And for the rest, while you're listening to my childhood genius, I'll be playing Minecraft until I find a frog and murder it. Dear Professor, the text and file submissions for this assignment are identical. They serve as one another's backup in the case of mass technological failure. As such might be the case if the Mayans were four years off of their calendarial prediction of destruction, and the world suddenly plummets into a land of ocean, if that even makes sense, and the remaining humans rid themselves of all phones, computers, and left shoes as offerings to the angry gods who have smote them. Wait a second. That- what skin is this? Is this me? <laughs> huh. That's a choice. This looks better when I made it. Um. <laughs> Man, this is this is horrible. Oh, this is so embarrassing. When I was a kid, I was like, "Hey, I'm a teacher now. Then I was like, hey, these are my students. We got Addie, Molly, Felicity, Josephina, Samantha, Kent, Kaya, Kirsten. Yeah, I was like super obsessed with the American Girl series. We got Anna, Lars, Lisbeth, Emily, Mata, Naki Birango, Nicole. Uh, uh, then things started getting a little weird. We got Star, Star Shining, Mimo, Mimone, Mipma. <laughs> Wansa, Lindsay, Linsea, Allison, Alisonea, Kitamba, Gengong, Hablet, Long John and Silver, Spiffy, Akira, Teo, Teo Akira, Teo Pister, Teo Pister Rian Sibin, Teo Pister Ranzaban, Teo Pister Lanzaban, Susan, Sudan, look of what the heck? Susan, 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 Milan, Eki Zengur, Enclaserve, Michael, he was the bad student, Michael Atoni, Evanoni Casoli, Leaky, Blix Zimbertsina, Leak, whoa, Blumber. And Joan. Woo! Go, Joan. I love you, buddy. You're doing good. Once upon a time. Well, actually, we know what time it was. You just won't find out. One day, Christine A and Jay were walking beside a creek near their homes when Jay said, Hey! They both fell into the river and were carried away by the current. Just as they couldn't hold on any longer, Jay and Christine A were dragged out of the river by a man who said, Ole! He then laid them down on a pile of hay where they slept throughout the day. When they awoke, the man was gone, and they found themselves in a strange, unknown land. Jay said, Hey! Christine A yelled, Don't say that! It must be bad luck! Look, Don't say hey, questioned Jay. It's not like I can change night to day. The sun shone bright and it was day, hey. said Jay. No, screamed Christine A. But it was too late. The girls were flying through the air. Without hope, they clung with all their might to the mariachi band. Wait, a mariachi band? Well, this doesn't make any sense. They were flying through the air with a mariachi band. Yes, okay, sure. The girls woke up beside the creek. Was it all a dream? Questioned Jay. No way, replied Christine A. The mariachi band cried, Away! Away! Escape from Castaway Island! <laughs> There I was, about to die, when suddenly I saw a pair of oven mitts and a torso-sized puppet lying on the shore. They must have washed up from that ventriloquist cooking cruise which had gone up in flames last week. What a sight. I grabbed the puppet, inflating it like a balloon, and tied it to my belly, placing the oven mitts on my hands. I flapped and flew into the air and bounced on the ocean with my puppet balloon belly. I flew, hopped, flapping and bouncing on the waves all the way to freedom. <laughs> So long, lava. <laughs> wow. Hi, are, are you really a leprechaun? Of course, I'm a leprechaun. What did you think I was? A sugar plum fairy? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Oh, not at all, milady. What do you want to know? Is there really a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Of course there is. You must have really tiny feet. What do you mean by that, Missy? Do you carry gold around with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I only tell those who are Irish that information, milady. I am Irish. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to tell you. Really? No! Ah, uh, why not? Because oh, I'm a sneaky leprechaun, that's why. What's your name? You can call me Scotty. I might be a little confused as to my heritage. Where can I find a four-leaf clover? In a clover patch, of course. Uh, right, yeah. Uh, ooh, find me one. What? Find me a four-leaf clover! Because... What? Oh, you like Hogginmeyer, too! Uh, you're confusing me. I doubt I am. Will you tell me where your gold is? I sure. Really? No. One gold nugget, please. Give me a gold nugget. Sure, why not? <laughs> Thanks, leprechaun gold! Wait, leprechaun gold disappears, right? What? Hmm. Well, what are you gonna do now? I'm going to leave. Well, goodbye for- 
Wait, wait, where'd he go? Ay, pobrecita, qué lástima. ¿Qué vas a hacer ahora? ¿Quién eres tú? ¿De dónde viniste? ¿Cómo entraste en mi casa? Yo soy tu narradora personal. Yo estoy aquí para que la clase pueda entender lo que está pasando. ¿Clase? ¿Cuál clase? No se importa. Have you all heard of Pokemon? Well, screw Pokemon. Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon? <laughs> Step aside. I got something better for you. Equiman. The Equiman lineup. Mm, mwah, you love perfect. You think that we would want Pokemon when we got Equiman? With such stellar figures such as Texo, Texaddy, Spot, 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 Spot 2, Spot, 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 who eight year old Michaela would like to note is a stallion. Now with ear, Rainbow and I, Horse, Color Fu, Color Fu 2, Hi Hi, Hi Hi 2, Zigzag Arena, who even eight year old me was like, He's a little much. Jump it. Yellowback. Orangi. Purple. White say. Sparkly. Mask gay. Step it a. Penny tay. Penny tate. No relation. Path. Blue blob. Blue boo blob. And Croston. Don't know what else you could want. Escape from Castaway Island. There was a legend on this island of a giant koi fish. I knew I had to get him on my side if I were ever to escape this island. Luckily, I found a can of goldfish flakes on shore. I used it to attract Kalamalu, the koi fish king. And I proceeded to battle him with the sponge I traded for a monkey. And I proceeded to bathe him. Oh, bathe. <laughs> and I proceeded to bathe him with the sponge I traded from a monkey. Kalamalu deemed me worthy of his mightiness. And we rode off together towards the land of the fish people. You know, not great, but for an escape from lava, I'll, I'll take it. Can I have some ice cream, please? Of course, sweetheart. What flavor? Chocolate, please. One moose trapping flavor coming up. Oh, I only wanted chocolate. Oh! Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Frog liver coming no! up. No, I only wanted chocolate. You don't know what chocolate is, right? Of course I do. One kidney bean coming no, up. No, no, for the hundredth time. No. You're right, no. Third. Huh? Not hundredth time, third time. You need to go to school more often to learn these uh, things. I only want ice cream. What flavor? Never mind, I lost my appetite. Well, would you like me to help you find it? No, I'm going home. Have a good baseball game. Good luck. Luck. Don't fall into the pits of snakes. I have three legs. <laughs> I need help. Yes, of course. Agreed. See? You always agree on everything, don't yes, you? Yes, of course. Agreed. Is See? that all you can say? Of course. Seriously, what else can you say? Yes. Okay. See? What's your name, kid? Yes, of course. Agreed. <laughs> See? What? Agreed. Tell me what your name is. Yes, of course. Agreed. See? What? Yes, of course. Agreed. Anything. See? Just What school do you go to? Yes. <laughs> Huh? My name is Yes, of course, agreed. C. My school's called Yes. Well, <laughs> uh, I did not kill a frog. I mean, I didn't even see the skeleton. It could have been the skeleton of a frog. For all I know, the frog killed me. Ah, lovely. Oh, turtles! Oh, turtles! I like turtles. Look at all the tur- There's so many of them! <gasps> Look at all the turtles! I love turtles! This hippie has a problem. This hippie has a stinky problem. She doesn't bathe. Love the germs, man. They're your friends, man. If you're dirty, you're more likely to fail a job interview, causing you to become impoverished, and eventually you'll live on the street and be avoided by society to be alone and subsequently <laughs> Depressed. Well, that's good and all, man, but we're all a part of the ethereal hemisphere of godly beings. I want to wear the earth. <laughs> Peace, man. You must be clean in order to convince a publisher to publish your work. Maybe you're right, man. I don't know, man. I must go now. Oh, yeah, man. Peace, bro. See now how the hippie is beginning to change her belief? Yo, bro. The group hasn't been the same since you left. Oh, what's that smell? Oh, it's like something rolled around in feces and then died in its own vomit. Um, that's me, bro. Oh, you need to fix that. You could make me cry. Oh, it's awful, man. Ew. See, bro, it's bad. It's bad. All right. I got I'll go shower, I guess. The hippie has been successfully converted to the doctrine of cleanliness and smell goodliness. Oh, hey, Natasha. Hey, Tara.
Uh, what's with the bread? Oh, you know, protection from murderers. It's gluten free. Ah. Escape from Castaway Island. I went on the hunt. Finding a kangaroo puppet, I enticed baby birds to trust me, leaving their nest. I then stole their nests and made them into a boat. While I sailed away on my nest boat, fish swarmed, threatening my life. Luckily, I had grabbed foam fish from the wreckage, and I used these fish to make the real fish fall in love. So in love, the fish left me alone and I escaped to live another day. Bunny decided to do some cartwheels in the grass. That was fun. Now Bunny could do some pretty good cartwheels when she wanted to. A hawk came bursting out of nowhere and flung Bunny onto its back. The hawk said, <coughs> How do, What does a hawk sound like? <coughs> and dropped Bunny. Bunny only managed to say, oh, no. Muchacho! Bunny hit the cloud. Then the cloud spoke, saying, Muchacho. Bunny was so shocked by this point that all she could manage to say was, Muchacho. Then Bunny found herself through the chimney of her house and bouncing right into her the bed again. Just when her friend Jingles woke up. Good morning! Jingles said. All Bunny could manage to say was, Muchacho. Oh, just... <laughs> just, just, a, just a second. Uh, Ooh, I need to catch my breath. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just that my dad, <coughs> Zeus, yeah, he couldn't get away from Hera, so I had to do all of his flirting for him. <laughs> Have you ever tried to flirt with your mother for your father? <laughs> Very awkward. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh I got the wrong address. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, my head. What? You don't even know who I am. I'm a offended. <laughs> Well, I'm Hermes, the god's messenger and the one who leads souls down to the underworld. So don't get on my bad side! I was born in a cave. I immediately uh, slipped out of my cradle and exited the cave. I was enjoying my stroll when I uh, discovered a herd of cattle. I had to have those cows! I assured my father that I didn't steal anything. How could I? I was only a baby. On the way back to my cave, I met a tortoise. Very nice tortoise indeed. So I called to the tortoise and said, Oh, come here, tortoise. You are so beautiful and strong. Just look at that lovely shell of yours. I'll oh, do come inside and rest a while. I told the truth about a shell. After all this, I crawled back into my crib and acted it as if I'd been there all day. The long. I believe that it has literally been countless years as I have no idea how many years exactly it has been, nor will I probably ever know for sure. I cannot count well. Alright, when I was in third grade, my family was like, yo, let's go to the snow. I'm like, okay. Let's do this. I wrote a packing list in cursive, no less, which includes hats, gloves, mittens, toothbrush, toothpaste, underwear. Very practical, not too shabby so far. Sweats, jeans, snow pants, blue pants with flowers. Uh, this, is, this is just for like three days, right? Pullover sweaters, jackets, light coats, heavy coats, turtlenecks. Oh, whoa, whoa now. Toe socks, fuzzy socks, lots of socks, sky socks, sky goggles, um, slippers, two, no, one pairs of tennis shoes, boots, money, sunscreen, camera case, heavy pajamas. Wait, <coughs> wait. <coughs> Wait, no! Right, pajamas, Kleenex, <laughs> pillows, eraser, watch, Sudoku. I think it's worth noting that I decidedly crossed out crayons, robe, vitamins, Ricolas. If eight-year-old me wanted to risk coughing fits, that's on her. Flashlights, band-aids, bookmarks, Addie's winter stuff, food, pencils, blankets, camera, cups. We done yet? No, we got stuffed animals, paper, snacks, water bottles, bookmarks, Addie's blankie, hair things, lip stuff, television, fire equipment, Harry Potter, La Bayana. <laughs> Packing queen right here, folk. Escape from Castaway Island. Unsure of how to escape, I realized that an astronaut's helmet was still attached to its previous owner. I ripped it off the poor gentleman's head and placed it on my own. It smelled surprisingly nice. I used this helmet as protection to approach the shark which circled the island. I used a wiffle ball to kill the shark in a horrific way. I used its own teeth to skin it. I wore the helmet and the skin as a scuba suit and swam to freedom. 
less proud of this escape method, but it worked. Mi nombre una vez tan honrada. Mi nombre usó mi nombre. Ya sé que usó tu nombre. Puedes continuar. Mi nombre. Mi nombre y honor precioso. Mi nombre. Ya, ya sé. Mi nombre. Ah, ya sé, ya sé. Mi nombre. Eh, ya sé, ya sé. Ay, mi honor. ¿Cuánto más dura esta escena? Ay, me canso de este loco. I'm just so tired, so tired. For months now, I've tried several methods to try and regain my energy. I've overdosed on coffee for a whole week, but all I accomplished was receiving several detentions from tap dancing on my teacher's desks. I tried hypnosis, but the hypnotists made me turn into a chicken impersonating Elvis instead. Several more detentions ensued. The most recent attempt of mine to vanquish the evils of dozing involved me strapping two large crocodiles to my feet and tying my hands to a praying antelope's bait for the crocodile. Well, surprisingly, this method turned out to be the most effective. I rode my crocodiles all the way to school and got the best seat in class. This surprised me at first because, you know, I'm always picked on and rarely get anything I want, but then I remember, oh, I have wild flesh-eating reptiles strapped to my feet. How silly of me to forget. I didn't realize that my left crocodile had started gnawing on my right leg and my right crocodile had started gnawing on my left leg. <laughs> How unfortunate! After an ambulance run, hospital stay, several lawsuits, and a short stint in juvie, I still realized that I hadn't found a solution to my very serious problem. I simply can't stay awake during any... One day, a deep sea exploration crew was exploring the ocean in the submersible Alvin. There were three men aboard the craft a biologist, a chemist, and a pilot. Not a captain? Oh, baby Michaela. Come Their on. names were Billy Bob and Joe. Bob was taking a nap. Bob suffered from sleep panic disorder, so he was screaming every now and then. Suddenly, a giant blue jellyfish like thing loomed into view and reached out with long tentacles towards the crew. <laughs> What is that thing? Asked Billy in a tone of panic. What's what? Holy crow! Shouted Joe in a tone of astonishment. <laughs> Bob shouted before falling back asleep. How does he do that? Asked Joe. I have no idea, but we got to get this thing off Alvin! Replied Billy. But just as they were speaking, the creature ripped open a small hole in one of Alvin's many windows. Uh-oh! Now we really are in trouble! I don't, I don't remember his voice. Yelled Joe, beginning to panic. Hey, what's going on? Hoopla! Screamed Bob, waking up because he he felt something wet on his face only uh, to awaken finding a strange creature outside the window. Oh gosh. Apparently Bob got really scared and started hitting the window until his uh. started hitting the window with his pillow, trying to whack the creature. Well, he didn't actually hit it, of course, but he did end up plugging the hole. It was a hole? <laughs> Hoopla! He yelled again before falling into a deep slumber once more. As a kid, it's nice to know you're appreciated and that people see you for the multifaceted, complex, yet unique amalgamation of cells, bowel movements, and experiences that you are. So teach goes, hey, why don't we write nice things to each other, huh? <laughs> this is what they wrote. I might not talk to you that much. Hope you do good. Well, you tried, kid. I like all those flips you do. That's cool. World's best gymnast. Um, no. You are very funny. Heck yeah. I might not talk to you, but I'm still gonna miss you. That one's a liar. You're a good science teacher. Keep up your good grades. I hope you keep your perfect grades the same. Have a good summer. Keep up your hard work. Have a great summer. Have a great time during summer. You're such an outstanding achiever. Have a great summer. Bye. You are the best poem learner. You're a good poem tether. I hope we could be best friend forever in life. You're a very smart smart person. I envy you. Haha. <laughs> oh, and really smart. You are smart. You're smart. You are smart. You are very smart at everything. You're a really smart girl. Wow. You are smart. Have a good summer. You are always nice and smart. You are smart. You're so smart. You're really smart. You are really smart. You are very smart. You are very, 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 very smart. Haha. <laughs> you are the smartest grill in the class. You are the smartest in class. You're the smartest person in class. I know. You're really smart. Do something good with your life. 
go to college. <laughs> Patricia was walking along the beach when suddenly the earth gave way from under her feet. At the bottom of the hole lay the crab who was not... Okay, I need At the to... bottom of the hole laid a crab who was not pleased to be fallen on, so he pinched Patricia's nose and refused to let go. She jumped right out of that hole and bellowed like a foghorn. It was so loud that all the ships in the area thought it was a distress signal and began to make their way towards the beach. Surfers also heard the bellow but thought it was the start of a cob. Surfers had also heard the bellow but thought it was the start of the surf competition and came rushing from all directions. Poor Patricia was trampled by hundreds of surfers and carried into the ocean with the crab still on her nose. There were at least 20 ships, 1,217 surfers and a few stray whales all fighting over the ocean. To this day, the crab has not let go and Patricia is now known as Krabby Patty. Oh, wait. This is a swamp. This is a swamp. Does that mean... Ah! Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Die! 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 <laughs> we did it! Oh my gosh! I actually did it! I... I can't believe I... I can't believe I did it! <laughs> Death! Death to all the amphibians! Yeah! <laughs> we did it! That only took like two and a half hours! Woo!